Abby Steiner comes out and runs a 22.03 in just her third 200 of the year. Mind you, at this point last year, she had already ran 30-something races. 30 some races just to get to this point. And at this point, she was only running 2205. Now she's running 2203 with only three 200 meter races under her belt. So not only is she way more fresh than she was last year, but she's also running faster than she was last year. And last year, she went 2177 into a negative headwind. So what is she going to do this season? I don't know. I think it's going to be faster than 217. I'll tell you that. But will it be fast enough to beat Sharika Jackson? That's my whole thing. Sharika hasn't even opened up in the 200 yet. Hasn't even opened up in the 200 yet. So it's likely she's only going to get about eight-ish races in this circuit before Worlds. If that, to be honest, she probably only going to get about five and then have to go through all the rounds of making the Jamaican team and then getting it through, getting to World Trials and then making it to finals. So she's probably only get about four or five races outside of the process of making it to worlds and the good thing about her is that she doesn't need a lot of races to get fast or to start competing at a high level because she's a she's a veteran at this point she's used to it she knows what to do she knows the circuit she's mature in that manner so she probably doesn't need uh, need a lot of races and now we're seeing abby develop as well she obviously doesn't need a lot of races just to run fast anymore you saw it in the way she ran at, at bermuda this past weekend only our third 200 2203 she passed up shakari shakari ran 2207 now the thing is one thing we're not talking about Yes, Abby passed Shakari on the charts for this year for the top 10 women in the world in the 200 meter dash. Yes, that is true. But Shakari pulled up damn near 40 meters before the line to celebrate. <laughs> we not going to let that slide. Shorty had about like a good 40, 20 some meters realistically, 20 some meters to keep running. And she pulled up and she still slid to a 2207. She carries in 21 second form right now. Abby, on the other hand, her start wasn't that great. A few of the ladies on her inside were actually eating up the stagger on her on the turn. But Abby, we know her having that 400 strength and endurance. And of course, her ability to stay composed and not waste energy tensing up her face, her upper body and her shoulders. So allowing all of her power, strength, focus and energy to go into applying force into the ground which is the number one thing for a sprinter that's why you relax you don't relax for anything other than preserving energy necessary for your lower limbs to apply force into the ground that is why everybody is told to stay relaxed with your face your shoulders and everything else and that's one of the things that abby steiner does better than anybody else on the circuit in that show because those last 50 meters is where she really pulled away from the field. But with that being said, Shakari Richardson, her last 100 coming off of the bend was also phenomenal. And not only was it phenomenal, she did it and still had more meters to go and pulled up and still ran a 2207. I'm looking forward to them meeting. That's what I'm looking forward to. I hope it's before the world championships too. I want to see the score be about one one oh one one something like that going into trials you know what i mean i don't want to have to wait i'm impatient i don't want to wait till world trials i don't want to wait till u.s trials to see them slide i don't want to do that i want to see them do it right now one of these meets one of these meets right now one of these national international meets or something like that so we can get a little taste a little preview of what this event is about to be and I want to see what happens if Shakari doesn't slow down. I guarantee she's not going to slow down if Abby's in the race. And I think we got to keep looking out for uh, uh for Sharika when she opens up. Last year, she's a 200-meter champion, and she ran 21.45. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. She ran 21.45. Oh, my goodness. And I have... A strong feeling she gonna run faster this year. So with that being said, is the US only chasing second place? Is it already in the bag? Or do we have a chance in Abby Steiner, in Julian Alfred, in Shakari Richardson to take home the 200 meter gold medal this year at Budapest for the world championships? And I know what that question is doing. It's getting everybody excited for worlds which is not the aim of what I want to do with my platform or whatever. I want people to be excited for next weekend's race. 
But the issue with track and field is I can't be excited for next weekend's race if it's not publicized. If I don't know who's running where, who's running against who, what event they're running in, and if it's certain that they are going to show up on race day. You dig what I'm saying? So, of course, I would love to come on here and only speak about next week. Only speak about their next race, what they just did last week, and what they're about to do next week, week to week. And we just in it. We in the zone. We in the moment. We're not looking two months down the line. We are just right here, right now. But I can't because as of right now, we a little bit of a disorganized clusterfuck of a sport. If you want me to be completely honest. So I don't know where Abby's running next week. I don't know who she's running against. And I don't know what events she's running in. So right now all I can do is speculate about worlds. Because at least that is set in stone baby. I like that. I love me some clear cut concise information. You know what I mean? I love me some structure in my life personally. Lord have mercy.